another amazing breakthrough. You have enough in there? His machine could actually burn salt water. John Kansas discovered that his radio frequency generator could release the oxygen and hydrogen from salt water and create an incredibly intense flame. Just like that. If that was inside a car cylinder, you could see the amount of fire that would be in the cylinder. I can put my hand in here. Put your hand into the beam, nothing happens. Put in a fluorescent bulb and it lights up immediately. At the APV Company Laboratory in Akron, top engineers have checked out John's amazing invention and they were amazed. And we saw it go up to 1500 degrees centigrade, the temperature, and it, it's, it's incredible. This simple Stirling engine is running with the heat generated by the flames coming off that test tube. The fuel, nothing more than salt water. Well, that could be a steam engine, uh, a steam turbine. Could be a car engine if you wanted it to be. This is uh, the most abundant uh, element uh, in the world, water. And salt water is everywhere. Uh, and to see it burn uh, actually gives me chills. So imagine the possibilities. And so I'm starting to compare all of these people's work and all of these different things, the commonalities between what generates this phenomenon. And in looking at that, I found that all of them have a geometric lattice structure. 